Hi, everybody, and welcome to FYI Philly in our Valentine's Day preview. And we're at home base today because of the multiple snowstorms, winter storms we've been having this season. That will not end. So we're here no. at our Channel 6 studios, mm -hmm. where we practically live. <laughs> and we're here to help and inspire you. So here are a few great ways to spend Valentine's Day with your loved one. And we're not just talking about spending on gifts, but ways to spend time and build some great experiences. I'm sure one of these activities will intrigue you to try something different this holiday. Take a look. There's so much to do across Philadelphia for Valentine's Day, and Philly Fun Guy is a great resource because it's one-stop shopping. You go to one place, we have a section on our website dedicated to Valentine's Day. At the Clay Studio in Old City, you can try some wheel love for a change. You could go there and take a class with your special someone and get this, you get to recreate the scene from Ghosts where Patrick Swayze and Demi Moore get together on that clay wheel. It's a four-handed foray into learning how to form pottery and cuddle up around some clay, but no, you will have a messy good time best to dress as if you're going to completely get dirty. So it's maybe not the best idea to wear a skirt and a ton of jewelry. You just have to come with an open mind and ready to experience something different. And there's a memento for your memories. They will draw your piece, pop it in the kiln, and send your love pot to you in the mail. Or how about learning about the foods that get you frisky? City Food Tours presents an aphrodisiac's dinner, an educational and entertaining evening about passion and the palate. We also talk a lot about uh, dispelling the myths about uh, aphrodisiacs, the history behind them, which ones really work, which ones don't. It takes place at Cafe Estelle in Northern Liberties, where chef and owner Marshall Green will cook up a sexy three-course creation chock full of love-enhancing ingredients. The most common gifts on Valentine's are roses, champagne, and chocolate. But why not have your honey combine all three into a spa experience? Spa East in Northern Liberties is offering, get this, a rose petal pedicure with a champagne chocolate foot mask. It's a delicious way to pamper your precious one. But let's face it, not everyone is in love on Valentine's Day. That's why comedic cabaret singer Karen Gross will perform songs and hilarious skits about the dating scene at a broken-hearted brunch on Valentine's weekend. Are you single? Yeah. Okay, raise your hand if you are. Don't be shy, be proud. <laughs> All right, was that enough time for everyone to look around the room? See who's available? Get some numbers on the because you know when you're single, everyone is always trying to match you up with the perfect person. Often it goes wrong, so. <laughs> Philly Fun Guide also has ideas for the cost-conscious romantic, too. We have cheap dates, and so we have a section on our website where we have free events. All the events are at least under $15. And if you want to make Valentine's Day a family affair, the Philadelphia Zoo has a Wild at Heart tour. You can come with your family, come with your kids, your grandkids, and take a tour around the Philadelphia Zoo and learn all about the animals and the way that they show love for each other. And the Pennsylvania Academy of Fine Arts will offer a Valentine's Day card-making Family Arts Academy. Now you have all the vital info to make this a vibrant Valentine's Day. So there you go. You just don't have to go to dinner anymore. There are so many other things you can plan to do. So make sure you check out the phillyfunguide.com for a list of these and other cool events.